G'day Wombo Fly Squad, welcome back to another first day to airport. I'm at Adelaide Airport and later I'm going to fly Virgin Australia VA222 to Melbourne. Now let's go inside and check in and also check out the new Virgin Australia Adelaide Lounge. Now remember that you have to wear a mask when flying within Australia, even at the airport. At Adelaide Airport, Virgin Australia has its own check-in area. You can check in using one of those self-checking kiosks or use the traditional check-in counters. If you're using a self-checking kiosk, you can also head to the self-bag drop if you have a check-in baggage. It's quite busy today at Adelaide Airport, but good thing is that the security line is fast moving. After security, the Virgin Australia departure gates are on your left-hand side. The left-hand side of Adelaide Airport has just been expanded. Many retail shops and restaurants haven't opened yet. But thank goodness, the new Virgin Australia Adelaide Lounge opened just three days ago. And here it is, let's go in and check it out. Upon entering the lounge, you'll see two service desks. That's where you can change your flight, upgrade to business class, and etc, etc. This lounge is nowhere near the largest lounges that you can find in overseas, but it is a lot larger than the old one. The new Adelaide Lounge also has a very different concept to the ones you can find in Sydney, Melbourne and Perth. The furnitures are different, the design overall is plain, yet elegant. One thing I do like is that they have a lot of natural lights and that they have different kinds of sitting options. As I'm exploring the lounge, one of the managers of the lounge came to me and offered me free Betty's Burger. According to Executive Traveller, the free Betty's Burger is only here for a week to basically celebrate the new lounge opening, which is totally a shame because those burgers are so good, I want them here forever. Because of COVID-19, there's currently no buffet in the lounge, although there is buffet set up, ready for use whenever it's safe to do so. So every table has its own special QR code. You can scan it, order your food and drinks, and then in a while the staff will bring it to your table. So it's totally table service, really good. As you can see here, there are so many options. You can order as many as you want, as long as they're within the time frame. For example, alcohol is not available until 12 p.m. Another great thing is that there's no price tag, so I don't feel painful ordering them. I believe some options are totally new because of the new lounge, where some options may have been here for a while, but that I never noticed because I've never seen a list like this. So this is definitely one advantage with the QR code ordering, is that you know everything that you can order. Also, when you order drinks like uh, coffee, you can customise it, like extra chocolate, uh, extra heat, takeaway cup or not. When you're done selecting your items, simply put in your name and then just wait. Now it's 10.31, I'll see how long it'll take for my orders to arrive. So while I'm waiting, the manager came back to offer me another burger. This time I got a chicken, last time I got a beef. They're both as good. So what do you think of the new lounge so far? Let me know in the comment down below. So all my orders arrived together in about 12 minutes. So for the drinks, I got a lift lemonade. For food, I got a Thai beef salad and a random shortbread cookie. The beef salad smells really good, really Thai, and I think the presentation is really good. Now let's taste it. So it's actually really, really good. My only comment would be remove those coriander. I don't like them. In fact, I'm a proud member of the I Hate Coriander Facebook group. So shower currently is not available during COVID, but we can certainly go in and have a quick look. Hello there, welcome to Virgin Australia Adelaide Lounge shower room tour. So right now showers aren't available due to COVID, but you can still come in and have a look. So it's a lot nicer and bigger than the old one. There you've got tower hooks. And the products here, you've got Hunter. And that's the shower space. And notice that there's no curtain here. That's very Virgin Australia. And here's a quick look into the bathroom. It looks gorgeous here. So before long, it's time to board our aircraft. Just before I left, I actually ordered another coffee through the QR code. Boarding actually started about 15 minutes early and I was still waiting for my coffee. So I actually just went up to the coffee station and the barista was happy to expedite my order and make mine first. 
So our aircraft to Melbourne today is a 17-year-old Virgin Australia Boeing 737-800 Victor Hotel, Victor Oscar November. At the boarding gate, next to the scanner and a hand sanitizer, you see a red tub. From there, you can grab a free face mask and hand wipe. Hi. Hello, how are you? Good, yourself? Good, thank you. Wonderful. And Jade, you're boarding through the front now today. Thank Come you. Come on through, please. How are you? Thank you. Today we got a relatively old 737. It's got no Boeing Sky interior. Boarding's completed early. That's because the boarding started early and that people could board through the front and rear doors. Now let's go through the seat features. So no TV, tray table right there. A really basic one. You can't pull it back and forth. You can't fold it as well. Your seat pocket right there. Leg room is really adequate on this 737. I think it's more than the usual one you get on the newer aircraft. You've got a radio button there which doesn't work anymore. Your recline button. I've got no neighbour today so really lucky. Your headrest is really comfortable and it's adjustable. If my cell for any room your crew can be visited at this time, please not hesitate to ask any one of us. Our flight time to Melbourne is just on one hour, a very warm welcome on board.
lasting protection. This aircraft is also fitted with HEPA filters which capture greater than 99.9% of airborne microbes. To minimise movement throughout the cabin and to avoid gathering in the aisle, please stay in your seat whenever possible. If you need to use the toilets, please stay seated until they're available. A red cross will be illuminated on the overhead toilet side whenever they are in use. And it is mandatory for everyone to wear a face mask for the duration of the flight. You may remove your mask for a short time, but only while you eat and drink. Thank you. There's Wi-Fi on board this 737. Unfortunately, internet access is not available. You can, however, use the Wi-Fi to access to the Virgin Australia Entertainment app, which you have to download before your flight using your own data or Wi-Fi maybe at the airport, at the lounge or at home. There's a good selection of movies and TV shows to watch. There's even a category called under 45 minutes because our remaining flight time is just under 45 minutes so that's really suitable. Now I'll just randomly pick a movie so that you can see the quality of the movie and also the resolution and the loading speed. So I chose my movie Three Billboards Outside which I watched ages ago, I forgot where and how, but I remember it was a good movie. So it does take a while to load, but after that, very high resolution, and when you change the time, instantly, it will change it for you, zero loading time. There's also a flight map on this app, so that you can see where your plane is and how long left for your flight. I believe business class today is empty so the purser from business class is helping out today in economy and the service is really quick. Here's the meal today, there's only this one option, it's a mixture of healthy stuff. For drinks there's water and juice. I'm glad I got my coffee from the lounge. My neighbour sitting at the aisle also got a takeaway cup from the lounge. We'll soon be landing into Melbourne Tullamarine Airport, so let's quickly conclude this trip port with Virgin Australia right here, right now. So first of all, at Adelaide Airport, check-in and security were really efficient. At the lounge, I was really fascinated. It looked so much better than the old one. Although you have to use your QR code to order your food, the lounge staff were happy to take orders directly from the customers, especially older customers who don't know how to use their mobile phones. That's really kind and understanding from the staff. I really love the concept of using the QR code because the service is a bit more personalised and that you know exactly what's available and what's not. One drawback, which I don't know if it's something to do with the QR code, is that the food and the drinks do take a while to be prepared. But on a more positive note, that means that the food and drinks are fresh. Now let's move on board this 737. When I sat down instantly, I found that the leg room was a bit more generous than usual. Something to do with an old plane, I guess. Along with the head rest, I took a really comfortable 15-20 minutes nap. The meal was a bit disappointing, but soon Virgin Australia is going to get rid of that. Only drinks will be made free for all. I think I would rather have no meal at all so that I won't be disappointed by the meal and besides that I can feel like my tummy in the lounge. Further, domestic flights are short so that the time to get rest is really precious. Without meal on board I can rest a bit more. One thing I found today which is really really interesting I reckon is that all the cabin crew did a really thorough safety checks before takeoff and also before landing. They all literally duck their head into every aisle to check if everyone's seatbelt is firmly fastened and window blinds up etc etc. And they definitely took a lot longer today to do safety checks than usual. Another thing to note about the cabin crew is that the purser or the customer service manager today is really really smiley and polite. She's really really polite. She's also really helpful for example at boarding gate at Melbourne airport 
were using the stairs and she would literally help passengers to bring their hand carry baggage down the stairs. Today I paid $85 to fly Virgin Australia one way from Adelaide to Melbourne. Adelaide and Melbourne based frequent flyers will be delighted to know that Rex will soon start flying this route and Virgin Australia responded by slashing their fare down to $59 one way. This fare includes your check in baggage, meal on board and of course lounge access if you're a frequent flyer. So it's a really really attractive fare and totally worth it. Now thank you so much for watching and here we are one fly squad. When you fly again please don't forget to use this hashtag on Instagram so I see where your journey is taking you. For those who are new to my channel, I upload a need to report every Thursday, 12pm Hong Kong time. That's 2.30pm in Adelaide and 3pm in Melbourne. So don't forget to subscribe now and click that bell button. So next time when I upload on Thursday, you'll get notified. You can also keep up to date with me on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook and of course Patreon. I offer memberships on Patreon and YouTube. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the landing and approach into Melbourne Telemarine Airport. And sorry guys, no Q&A this week due to my busy uni schedule. See you next week, bye! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Boston. For your safety, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened and your cabin baggage stowed until the seatbelt sign. 
has been turned off.